Bro, I ain't gonna cap to y'all, boy. The 2K community is a cold place, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, because that boy Tassino been going through it the last couple of days. He played statistics last night, and he played key sticks, but he also played IQ Contain and Trey Riggs the day before. Now, he went, he beat IQ Contain, came back and played Trey Riggs, lost to Trey Riggs. Last night, he played key sticks. He was up 2-0 to key sticks, man, and key sticks says, bless to even play Tassino, man's a goat, GG's, hope y'all enjoyed the show, and then one person say, why you rim running every time, uh, you know, that stuff is boring, and to him, I would say respectfully, shut the f*** up, shut the f*** up, bro, are you think somebody gonna come out there and do that stuff and rim run and not, and not play that game, lose not playing that game, and then y'all gonna call a ass like y'all did Cole the man and troll him in the back, man, y'all ain't finna do that to my guy, man, that's what he's telling y'all, you better know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play my game and play it like I want to, but then after that, he went and played that guy, uh, statistics, and uh, he, hey, look, this the outcome on that one, 1500 uh, wager pot, $1,500 wager pot uh, secured G5 on both servers. GG, way to hoop. Tassino, uh, appreciate y'all for hooping, man. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. That's how it should be. It should never be how it was with Cole, where people are going in there trolling people. Y'all talking trash, this and that, this and that and the other. Bro, people just want to play basketball and just hoop. That's why people don't do more and more and more and more wages because y'all... Y'all, uh, y'all just don't, y'all just don't, y'all don't act right when people win. Y'all be in the chat like, Cole, 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 you're trash, you're bad. Even though you just ran through them on your server and came and played on yours, then now you, you're trash because you didn't do this and you didn't do that. And then how could you not play him on there? Even though he got two old on your server and then you got three old on yours. I, I could never play a wager and I'll never come out there and play and I'll never do this and that. And like, Cole said, shut the f up. Shut the f up. Bro, let these guys play and stop antagonizing people because we want to see people play. And before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video, man, because liking the video helps me out tremendously. Like the video, comment something down below, man. I don't even care what you comment down below. Just let me know that you appreciate the game and appreciate me doing this news and stuff. And go back and watch that Travis on the video, man, because that joint there is fire too. But without further ado, man, Good evening out there in 2K land, man. Speaking of IQ Contain, man, listen. A lot of people have been talking about the jump shots and all of that lately, bro. And uh, IQ Contain, he just says, man, it is frustrating to me, but y'all know why there's so many different shot times. Do y'all know why there's so many different shot times in 2K, right? Or y'all know why there's so many different shot times in 2K, right? He says, thank the people who bought Zens in the community. I'll never, I mean, it'll never be the same because of them. And uh, like you said, hey, that boy, look, he came said, he came out and said, it's not due to the people with the Zens. Uh, it's more of an advanced feature, which is why only next gen has it. Current gen has two timers when you're, when you're tired and when you're regular shot. That's a new gen feature. Uh, they may try it out. Zens have no correlation. And, uh, you know, uh, IQ Contain, he just came back and said, there's definitely more than two shot timers on current gen, but there, uh, but there might be more on next gen. I don't know. Hey, um, what's the name? Hey, oh, well, well that's coming up next. And uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. This is what I think. There are a lot of different shot timings in the game, but it's only really two that count. And, uh, and it's not, well, maybe three. So we'll just call it four. So when you're tired, you got two. And when, when you're full energy, you got to. You have to be paying attention to everything when you take a shot in this game because sometimes I'll run down court as a center and I'm trucking down court and I get to that corner and I shoot and I'm like, oh, Lord, I just shot a hell early. And that's how it goes, man. It's unfortunate, but but that's really how it goes. Then you come back and, and you know, you come back another time and, and you can shoot anything. And you shoot a regular shot and it's so fast that you you can't even catch up with it. I just think that there are two timings. It's two. It's a fast and slow timing for, and it's been like this in 2K20, I feel like, because that's why I was able to hit so much. Because I played 2K20 a lot, though. I don't play this one as much as I should. But you got a fast and slow timing for when you're at rest and then a fast and slow timing for when you are uh, out there you know, playing. The best thing to do, man, is just learn your cue. That's all I can really tell y'all. If you learn your cue, you're going to shoot a lot better. And if you don't know your cue, holla at your boy. Because I'm going to make y'all some jump shots that got some fire cues, man. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. I'm working on one right now that got a great cue. And I hopefully it's going to help y'all a lot. But the one I dropped yesterday, it was a dog jump shot. A lot of people were talking about it. And I actually used it in the wreck. And when I actually did get the ball, I was uh, I was out there hooping, man. I ain't going to lie to y'all, bro. Hey, you ain't lived until you go into the wreck. 
and play center knowing you're not touching that basketball even once. Wide open in the corner. They're going to go up on three people. You, you, you up at the top of the key. Can I get that? No. You just blocked the shot on the other end, got the rebound, kicked it out, truck down to the corner or truck somewhere wide open. He going to go in there and go in on three, three people contested. Bro, it's insane. And it's just it's, it's crazy, man. But we're not there to talk about that. We got to talk about this. That boy Iso Juke said dudes were dead dead say they support you then scroll right past your stuff like it ain't <laughs> like it ain't nothing man he absolutely right about that i'm not one of them guys because y'all know i'm always putting people on and pushing stuff forward and we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video but yo i just wanted y'all to know that i'm gonna always um i'm gonna always do that man that boy look tv says what's something nba 2k 24 needs for y'all to play again and i'm gonna say defense that's what we need it is entirely too easy to score on this game if you have any semblance of what you're doing you can just run by people and dunk on the rim i mean you can just do it i mean it is what it is normally we use the jump shot to set up the drive they're using the drive to set up the jump shot it's insane and then guess what happens you got a backup so far off of them that uh you know like i said in 20 in 18 19 20 uh all those games Threes were at a premium because you could actually play a little defense, and the guy had to, he had to, um, he had to be really good to be able to get a three off on you, right? But you could also, I mean, it, it was hard to score in 20, I ain't gonna lie. It was not hard to score, but it was harder to score in 20. But I, I just wanted to see defense come back and actually be better. They did a lot of stuff to the offense and tried to tone down offense, but we're not there yet with the defense. I think that we need that in order to come back. And uh you know, now this is this what happened from EJ. We're going to get back on that in a second. He said, not going to lie, I hate to see the community split. So, uh, also split up right now. Everything needs to go back to one game. Just imagine if 2K had crossplay back in 16 and 19, I mean, or in 19. So, so many content creators would have blown up by now. Imagine loading in the park, teaming up with someone on a whole nother console. Now, that's one thing that correlates with that because that is one thing. Uh, that a lot of people are saying that they want is crossplay. That's one thing that absolutely 2K24 has to have, bar none, and they need to brand it with this right here. Remember, I said it because I said it. Or should I say, remember, I said it because I said it. The slogan for NBA 2K24 needs to be anybody, anytime, anywhere. Just like the old Florida State team and just like them Pat Hill Fresno State teams in the 90s that, you know, that's what they need to have. Anybody, anytime, anywhere. And that should be the slogan for crossplay. I don't care if you're on, if you're on last gen. Hey, they already proved that we can have the same type of stuff. Give them the sh frames of all time and if you still over there you can still play and you can play with us on this but guess what it's just gonna like be like you had a bad computer or a trash computer or something like that they just need to have a worse experience or, but but have the same game and i'm not talking about an unplayable experience i'm saying we're getting 50 frames i feel confident that this game can run on on last gen in 30 that's what they do for computer games they're not having those pity on people that have not upped it or or to that you run it at what resolution and at what frames you can run it on your computer. That's how it is when the generations move forward. I just bought me a 3060. I had a 2060 Super. It is what it is. I had to run in lower frames until I could get there. And I think they own 30 frames anyway, so I don't even think it'll be that bad on last gen. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I'm not saying make it an unplayable experience, but it's just not going to be the same as the next gen experience. And like I said, like on Xbox, they say we're getting 120 frames. I don't know if that's what we're getting. So it's already doing something like that because I will promise you that PlayStation does not have as many frames as Xbox. When I run through the city on PlayStation, it skips and, and I got like 30 frames per second. It does not do that on Xbox. I got all my frames all the time. So, like, if they can do it like that and it's already like that somewhat, we can have crossplay across gen. They can get 30 frames and it is what it is. Hey, he says, what would you rather have? Oh, this is what IQ can say. He said, what would you rather have, uh, 2K, crossplay or one game but separate platforms? I mean, I, I think that's the same thing, really, like, you know, separate platform. But I guess what he's saying. So, I mean, but if you can do that, you can already do the crossplay. We, we want crossplay at minimum. That's what we want. And we can have cross gen, all that. People ain't mad at it. Call of Duty is already doing it. It's not an unplayable experience. They can play. They just have 
they're just not gonna have as much graphics and as much stuff as we got. That's just all to it. But hey, I think they can do it and they need to do it. Hey, that boy Nate said, <laughs> he said F seasons. And uh, <laughs> that boy, that boy Lux says it ruins this for people who, who get the game at the holiday for real. By the time they get it, most of the good seasons have passed. They need to put, they need to put a legend grind besides a season grind. Uh, the four star stuff is not cutting it. We need rookie to legend in 2K, please. Like these are the things that people are saying that they need, man. And then one person says seasons are good though, and there is a lead and there is a legend grind. The rewards are just terrible. We have we we not why not add VC um to the season rewards? Why not add premium clothes and not just the season uh the season suits? The legend grind also good i mean it's also good but only for the guards and the rewards are pretty bad and i can feel you on that man but um i'll just tell you like this man if you want seasons to be meaningful and you want to keep people on the game after the seasons one thing y'all need to do and i'm gonna say it just like this bro if you want to keep people on the game after the seasons just get just do double vc once you hit number uh level 40 that's it boom case closed uh well bruce said case closed class dismissed so i'll say uh class closed case dismissed yeah how about that? That's all they gotta do, and people to be on the game. Tell me you wouldn't be on this game a lot more if you were getting double VC after you hit level 40. That would be an incentive to go to 40, or even 1.5 VC, 1.3. Just give me something more than the average person getting. That's all I'm saying. And last but not least, man, y'all been asking me about videos on how to come up out that corner. This boy Joe Vegas, listen to this dude right here, man. Tired of being a corner cone? Can y'all hear? Joe Vegas I think y'all can film room with five tips to help make you more effective out the corner. This is what he got. A backdoor cut. Backdoor cut in 2K. Whoa, 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 Joe. Joe, backdoor cut. Listen, listen. This video is going to tell y'all how to be a better corner scorer. How to come up out that corner. How to get them buckets. Things that you need to add into your game. He's breaking it down just like I normally do. And it's going to be dope, man. So y'all go over there. Check out the video. He's giving y'all all the sauce. And he is telling y'all about the backdoor cut, but he's also telling y'all when you should be taking the backdoor cut, when you shouldn't take it. What's a good backdoor cut? This is a good one right here. And he's drawing the arrow because he's up too high. This is a, you know, and he's showing you why, because, you know, this this is here. And he's going to have to come up. And when he comes up, blah, 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 yakety smackety. You got to watch the video to get all the rest of that. And then what's a bad backdoor cut, which is what a lot of you guys do. In, in 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 the game is take bad backdoor cuts like no no so he's telling you all of that stuff man make sure y'all go over there check the game check the video out tell him easy sent you uh we, let's get that joint up to like a thousand views man because he's telling you how to really get busy out that corner man look love each and every last one of y'all man hopefully y'all have a great holiday uh like the video put joe down below when, when you know at the end of your comment or whatever and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.